Starfield's latest free update is finally here and is bringing a highly requested feature, the Rev-8 land vehicle. Now is your chance to explore new frontiers and reach new heights in your very own land cruiser. The Rev-8 is the first in hopefully a long line of new ground vehicles making its way to Starfield, and I'll be the first to tell you it's a welcome and completely game-changing addition to Starfield. But. I'll also be the first to tell you that it isn't 100% perfect and is missing a few things that I would have liked to see as well. This video will cover all of this and showcase the actual gameplay on how to get started with your very own first ground vehicle in Starfield. But before we begin, if you love Starfield and sci-fi gaming, please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you want to see in Starfield next. Now, let's get right into it. To acquire the Rev-8 and any other ground vehicle in the future, visit your favorite city ship technician to install a vehicle module and you're good to go. Right now, the only vehicle that you can choose from the selection screen is the Rev-8, which hopefully means that in the future we will be able to select more ground vehicles from other manufacturers other than just the Nova Galactic Rev-8. This also opens up the door for some modding opportunities as well for modders to go in and make their own ground vehicles now that this tech is in the game. And of course, you can customize the colors to make your Rev-8 look exactly how you want it when it comes to the colors. One thing that I do wish you could customize at this point was different upgrades such as the gun that the Rev-8 comes with or maybe the boost pack as well. Just some things that I would like to see going forward with this are the more customizable options like I mentioned with the weapons and the boost pack and other things. But I digress, once you have the Rev-8 selected in the ship of your choice, the Rev-8 will automatically deploy right outside of your ship wherever you land. And yes, this does include all landing zones in all major cities on every planet and moon. To start using the Rev-8, you simply need to exit your ship, go up to the driver's side on the left side of the Rev-8, and interact with the Rev-8 and your character and your companion will enter the Rev-8. All humanoid companions will sit in the passenger seat to your right and even Vasco and other Vasco robot-like mod companions will just hop in the back and they'll be able to ride along with you. It is quite awesome hearing what your companions and Vasco have to say while you're driving this thing around and watching them interact and move as this thing is moving around and thrusting as well. It's There's some pretty cool and funny stuff that happens too. Once you are inside the Rev-8 with your companion, the learning curve to actually control this thing is almost none. The Rev-8 acts exactly like the player character when it least comes to the base controls. The way you move, thrust, and jump with this thing are all the exact same controls that you would do with your player character. So just use those exact same buttons. Same goes with the turret on top, all you have to do is aim, zoom in, and shoot, and it's all the exact same controls. It's really, really cool. It's almost like an extension of your Starfield player character. It's really, really neat. And yes, to hopefully everyone's satisfaction, the Rev-8 solves almost every single issue when it comes to Starfield planetary travel on every planet and moon. This thing hauls ass. It is really fast, and the thrusters can take you up super high. They are very powerful, so you can get across the map much faster than you could in this thing. You can also traverse elevated areas much, much easier now. The physics on this thing while driving around in different gravity planets and moons also feels really good. This thing feels beefy, it feels heavy, it feels very swift. It can be a little derpy moving sometimes. It almost kind of feels like a warthog from Halo in the sense that you can kind of spin yourself out easily if you're not careful. But also having the companions in there with you and seeing how they move and interact with the movements of the vehicle is really awesome. But like I said at the opening of the video, it's not all 100% perfect. I mentioned some criticisms earlier as well, saying that I wish there was more customization when it comes to the Rev-8 itself. You only get the base thing and you can customize the color of it, but I do wish there was a path to kind of upgrade some of the materials on there, give it more armor, give it better weapons, give it better thrusters, stuff like that. The second one and the more important one to me is that 
It says you're installing a ground vehicle module onto your ship, but you're actually not installing anything. There's nothing new or a new hab or anything like that installed to your ship. It's just the ability to spawn this thing. I was really hoping for when this update came out that there would be some sort of new hab to store your new ground vehicle and be able to deploy it in a cool mechanical way once you're on a planet, but it is a little disappointing that it just kind of spawns in front of your ship no matter what happens. I hope that's something that's changed in the future or at least fixed with creations in the modding scene. But this thing is definitely way more good than it is bad. It is a welcome addition to Starfield and I am very glad that it is going to make a very big presence in the Shattered Space expansion and this thing has just completely changed ground exploration and traversal. So I recommend all of you guys hop back into Starfield if you still play it and go do some exploring with this thing. You will not regret it. But I wanna know what you guys think. What do you think of this new Starfield update? What do you hope happens with the future of ground vehicles and vehicle updates in Starfield? I wanna know what you guys think, everything down below. Please comment your thoughts. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for all things sci-fi gaming. Thank you guys.